1970s found the Santa Fe Railroad on the verge of major growth for the 90s and beyond. Through planned purchases of newer diesels, the Santa Fe reduced operating costs and set itself up for a major contender in the movement of freight from Chicago West. Santa Fe Odyssey, Volume 2, chronicles activities in the late 70s as the railroad showed off its new engines and schedules to photographer Emery Goulash. Santa Fe Volume 1 was filmed over a period of 23 years. In contrast, Santa Fe 2 was filmed in a time span of only 23 days. Freight now abounds, and Amtrak is firmly entrenched. A sparkling sunset highlights Amtrak's train number 15, the Lone Star, as it leaves Galesburg. Later that day, a westbound GP-20 leads a train over the crossover at Stronghurst. This program included railroad plus airline modes of transportation. Wainoka was a crew change point and the hotel is now used only as a reading and waiting room for the transient train crews. A crew change takes place for us as an SD-45-2 passes the classic station. Another eastbound approaches. From this vantage point, stone footings of prior vintage indicate that at least two other bridges spanned this gulch in previous years. The first bridge was built of iron in 1882.
This massive bridge crossing the Colorado River is located at Topak, Arizona. It also serves as the border crossing between Arizona and California. Here we see an eastbound cross the bridge with a trailer train. Shortly after, two GP-30s power a work train with a Jordan spreader into town. The train will back into the Ludlow siding and the Jordan will plane off the roadbed along with a few mesquite bushes. On Cajon, the Union Pacific shares rails with the Santa Fe. On Tehachapi, the Santa Fe has trackage rights on the Southern Pacific. The first view of Tehachapi is of a westbound freight. We first see it approaching the high line. It hides behind the hills for a short time and with dynamics blowing to the skies, emerges into our view. The train disappears into the cut and tunnel below the high line and passes beneath its own train. The train is now running in a westerly direction to Bakersfield. 